Toyota and Suzuki are joined at the hip thanks to their existing partnerships, and the rumor mill believes there's even a chance to see the latter return to America to sell automobiles. The largest car maker in the world has had a marvelous time this year, and the tidal wave of novelties is seemingly unstoppable. The Tacoma midsize pickup truck is now live on the company's American online configurator. That means another 2023 superstar, after the Prius Prime plug-in hybrid, Corolla Cross Hybrid, Grand Highlander, or the trio of GR Special Editions, GR86 Trueno, GR Corolla Circuit, GR Supra 45th Anniversary, is ready to hit the market and start deliveries from nationwide dealerships. Speaking of America, do you think that fans have had enough novelties with the upcoming 2024? Land Cruiser, 2024, Tacoma E-Force Max, 2025 Camry, or 2025 Crown Signia? If you ask the rumor mill, and especially the imaginative realm of digital car content creators, not at all. The design is reminiscent of the FJ Cruiser, of course, but also introduces a sense of awe and modernity, while the body is potentially just a three-door SUV. Unfortunately, both are entirely wishful thinking at this point, as neither car maker confirms anything. Interestingly though, they are not without logic. Toyota could quickly introduce a baby Land Cruiser to satisfy the growing desire for rugged yet compact SUVs. At the same time, Suzuki could easily take advantage of the same underpinnings and Toyota's sales network if they wanted to introduce a sibling in America. So, which one is your favorite? The futuristic three-door baby, Yota, or the quirky, boxy, and lovable five-door Suzuki? And do you think they could find success in America, historically the land of the free and the bold, but also of humongous automobiles? If you ask me, the effort to set up the return of the Suzuki brand to America is not really worth it. On the other hand, Toyota could do well to bring to market a rugged yet compact Land Cruiser as a counterpoint for the crossovers that only look like powerful SUVs. That's a nod to the Ford Bronco Sport.